My highlight is so blinding. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very new setting for me. So this is my very first video I've ever filmed at night time. I have always wanted to do this and I've had umbrella lights for almost the whole length of my channel, but I just had a thing for natural light and I always had the opportunities to film with natural light. So I literally never got these guys out, but now my partner is pretty much away for this whole weekend. I know I'm working on Monday, so I don't think I'll get a chance to film my Tuesday video. So I thought, why not get out the lights, give it a go. And I think it looks pretty good. All I can say for now is that my highlight looks absolutely blinding in these lights. So I'm happy about that. But make sure you leave me any comments about the setup, the lighting, how it looks, positioning, all that stuff down below so you can help me out and get this looking perfect. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to film here all the time or if I'm still going to use my old background and the natural light, but I guess we'll see what the response is like from you guys and I'll have a look at the footage and see if I love it and then we'll decide later. So for today's video, I'm extremely excited because I am once again back talking about products from Priceline that I absolutely love and recommend. Now I'm pretty sure I've done these recommendation videos for probably the whole length of my channel. So I will put together a playlist of all the Priceline ones and link that below so you can see all of my recommendations. Although I really struggled to change them because I just love these products so much. But I have switched up this video a little bit and I'm excited because I instead went back to my last video and looked at the products that I was interested in, picked the things that I had actually bought and I'm going to talk about them and do sort of a mini review. And then at the end, I will pop in some extra recommendations. So if you are interested in hearing about all that, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the highlight considering it is so blinding. And I actually put this product in my anti haul, which I am so surprised about. And I ended up getting it probably two weeks after I uploaded that video. And that is the NYX Strobe of Genius Highlighting Palette. Now, as you can see, this was reduced from $30. Oh, these reflections are getting annoying. Sorry. $30 to $10. And my friend found this and I was like, I need that because that's so cheap. It's not going to get any cheaper than that. And I am so curious about it. So I went against my anti haul and I bought it. And as you can see, it is absolutely blinding. So the formula, the formula of this isn't amazing. It's not the worst. It's not the best. I can't really put my finger on it, but that is, I guess, why I was turned off by the swatches because it doesn't swatch that amazing. But on the face, it just looks stunning. Like it is the biggest difference of swatch to face that I have seen in any of my highlighters. It is crazy. So if you haven't seen it, this is what all the shades look like. I'm wearing a mix of all these big ones pretty much on my face today, and they just give the most gorgeous glow. And I have to say, I'm very happy to have this in my collection now. So I highly recommend this now. And I never thought I'd be saying that. The second product I mentioned, and it actually wasn't released yet. It only came out a few weeks ago. So it definitely took its sweet time. But this is the Master Blush Palette from Maybelline. So this, I said in my video it was all blushes, but it is actually three blushes and a highlighter. So... To start off with, I'll talk about the negative, which is this highlighter is quite glittery, chunky, a little dark as well, although it does look light. It's a bit dark on me, but I still like it. For a drugstore highlight, you know, it's not bad. They, they are definitely getting better, but I can't wait for our master chromes to come because I know Jeffree Star raves about that and I need that. So hopefully that hits Australia soon, but this is just just not quite there, but it's all right. As for the blushes, these are amazing. I love these two center shades. This purple is a bit scary, but it's definitely usable with a light hand. And I'm actually wearing a mix of the middle two on my cheeks today. I'm wearing all of these products on my face today. And yeah, I just, I just think the formula of the blushes is really amazing. It's going to last you forever because they are so pigmented, but because they're pigmented, just be very careful because a little goes a long way. I literally tap my brush in and then tap it off for ages and then really quickly swirl it onto my face and then blend a lot. But I have to say I'm loving it and I definitely highly recommend this one as well. 
The third palette, these are literally all palettes, is the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit that was done with Chloe Morello. And I had my eye on this for ages. And I have to say, again, I absolutely love this and I highly recommend it. So I definitely made some really good purchases last time around. So hopefully this time I do as well. This is just really, really nice. I don't contour a whole lot, but I have done a little today, just subtle, and I just mix the two shades. Uh, the highlighter, let's remind myself what it's like. Uh, it's kind of just powder. Honestly, I could imagine setting my whole face with that, kind of like an hourglass powder, but it's definitely not as luminous. It's just not quite there, so that's a bit of a dud. And the yellow shade I won't really use on pale skin. It's not too yellow, but then it is yellow, so I haven't really ventured into that. But for the contour shades, I think they're great and they work really well on pale skin. They're not overly pigmented, so you can build them up and they just blend really nicely and I'm very happy to have this palette and this is my only Revlon product, but I highly recommend it. Now the last two products that were on my wish list I didn't purchase, but I know people who have purchased them, so I just wanted to give a quick review as well. The first was the NYX Beauty School Dropout Palette. I said in my video that I was blown away by this, and two of my friends bought it and they absolutely love it. The bronzer in there is stunning, the highlighter stunning, and the eyeshadows are amazing. So honestly, if I didn't have so much makeup, I would definitely buy that palette. So I don't know if it's still around, but if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend that because it's $50. I think someone commented on my video telling me. So 40% off that is an absolute steal for what you get. And the final product was the new liquid lipsticks from Astralis. Astralis. <laughs> Astralis. And I haven't used one, but I did swatch them and they are kind of the very opposite of the Velour lips. The Velour lips were kind of gross and dry and this formula is just kind of thick and glossy and oh, I can't remember if it fully dried down matte but I'm gonna say if it did it would probably be tacky and transfer maybe and the colors are just from memory it's a weird selection so obviously I don't have a major review on those but I didn't end up buying them so I feel like that's like a review in itself because I love Astralis and they were just not for me so I don't recommend those. Now as always you know I've got to mention my top five Priceline products because these are amazing and if you've watched any of my videos you've probably heard me mention these so I'm just going to say what they are. I'm not going to give any reviews except that they are all absolutely amazing and if I run out of them I repurchase them. I just realized I forgot one product but I definitely need to repurchase it and that is the Astralis Eau to Glow foundation. But I've also found the Wet n Wild foundation which I'm wearing today and the Ordinary foundation which are amazing so I don't need the Astralis one but because I love it so much I really just want it in my life. So there is that and also from Astralis there is the Fresh and Flawless powder which as you can see I actually need more of so I'm happy about this so I may buy two if my bank account allows it. The next product is my beloved Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing. If you saw my winged eyeliner tutorial last week this is pretty much all I use. It's amazing. Next product is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. You know you've heard every man and his dog brave about this so if you haven't tried it yet I don't really know what you're doing. And for mascara is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I have fallen in love with the Benefit They're Real, but I did pop this on today and it is just as good as I remember, so always a good one. And the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I think in my last video, it maybe wasn't available at all price lines or it was always, always sold out, but I did see it in a price line recently. So I know it's actually in stock there. I know you can get it and you need to get it because it's amazing and I have made quite a dip in it. The pattern is almost gone. I love this stuff. Honestly, it's quickly becoming one of my favorite makeup products. I loved winged liner and mascara, but this, something about this, it's so good. And lastly, I just want to talk about two new recommendations, which I am so excited about because I feel like I always blab on about the same products, but these, you need them. Now, some price lines include brushes and tools in the sale and some don't. So 
This is for the stores that do and if your store doesn't then I highly recommend you go to a store that does and pick these up because they are amazing. The first thing is the Eco Tools blending sponge. I am a massive fan of the Chi Chi, the Real Techniques, but this, something about it, I actually think it's just slightly better than those. And it's just as affordable from memory and I love the green. I'm obsessed with green so I love it and it's just it's just amazing. I don't really have much else to say, except if you love the Real Techniques sponge, then prepare to be even more blown away by this. And I think the angles work really well for concealer. And I am... Oh no, I've got to... I've dug my nail into it. And the final thing is Nude by Nature brushes. I was bought a brush set by my brother and his partner a year or two ago and I only recently started using them and I am so blown away. They are some of the softest brushes ever. This powder brush literally is an angel. I love it. I sit there just wiping it all over my face because it's so soft and this blush brush pretty much the same. I use this for contouring though and highlighting but I mean hey we don't have to use brushes for what they're meant for but these are definitely my two favorite in the kit but the kit in general is really amazing they're just so high quality and as you can see they look really beautiful too they just look quite expensive and for me they haven't really shed i don't think at all and i am just in love with these so that's all the goodies i have to talk about today i wish you all the best in your price line shopping and i pray for your bank accounts I actually don't think I'll be picking up anything new this time around. I think I'll just be getting backups or replacements of the things I've run out of, which was my top five products I showed you. And yeah, I don't know, nothing's really caught my eye this time, but I mean, I say that and I know I'm gonna end up buying something. And you know I'll let you guys know about it on my Instagram, so stay tuned over there. But yeah, I really hope this video was helpful for you all. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and if it was, and subscribe to my channel down below if you are new. Also, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway ends tonight, so you have eight hours from the minute this video goes live to enter, so definitely head over there if you haven't entered already. I will have that linked below, of course. And yeah, good luck as well, because my next video will be announcing the winner. So I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.